Hello, Bethany family. Lisa Jo here in Martha Mark's bathtub. Oh, well, <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> uh, at Hidden Star Lake, you know, she added this bathtub at the end of her camp, and I don't know, it feels like a little house, so kind of, so I come in here to get away from it all. I don't think she'll mind. I don't think she'll even know. <laughs> I've been thinking about Bradford Beckin and how he died. You know, this week is the Founders Day of how he left his daughter, you know, without a father. And how there's a lot of similarity with my daughter Dove. We're supposed to tell a secret, a Founders Day secret. All right, you all know that I left on April 1st, right after the fire at the little theater, and you know I left looking for my daughter Dove. I, t I saw her, she's been missing since 2001. But what nobody knows, what I haven't told anybody, is where I saw Dove that night. She was in a beam of light, being transported up into the lights in the sky. I'm afraid my daughter may have had something to do with the Beckerfield Little Theatre being destroyed. And I asked my Prim Bobby family, those who call Prim Bobby, why, if port sliding is simply a matter of aligning with the unique bandwidth signature of a person, why could I not find flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood? And they said, it's because Dove doesn't want me to find her. She's deliberately changing her frequency when I get close. And that can only mean two things. Either whoever is in those lights in the sky have brainwashed my child, or Dove still cannot bring herself to forgive me for what. Sorry, that's another secret for another day. <laughs> 